Hi, beautiful people. Hey guys, welcome back to Coco Cars with Chyra. I feel good, y'all. I really feel good. Um, I'm just going to talk about one thing that I've been practicing because we all know this is a growth community. If you're new, welcome. And if you're returning, thank you. Um, here I really talk about improving yourself so that you can um, be aware of the way you think and be accountable for yourself and for your actions and um, really create a better tomorrow. Ultimately, that's what all of this is about. Like my heart is for children, especially children who go through um, single parent homes or broken homes. And I think that is because, well, I think that happens because people aren't aware of the way they think. They're not, you know, really in tune with themselves. They're not accountable for their actions. They're just, you know, going on feel good, endorphins, emotions, letting all that dictate how they act. And then when results happen, it's like, what now? You know, like, let's just do this or do that. But you weren't thinking right in the beginning. So what makes you think you're thinking is right now after you've after the damage is done, you know? And so I feel as though if we can start with ourselves and be accountable and be aware of ourselves and um, move in a direction that is purpose focused, then when we do have families, when we do create children, when we do get married, when we find that love, you know, it's gonna be kingdom minded, it's gonna be purpose, it's gonna be, you know, walking in the right direction. It's gonna be something that is going to ultimately push your life forward and push the lives of generations forward because the whole time you were aware instead of, you were sober minded is what I would say, instead of just living life intoxicated even if you're not technically intoxicated you know and so um like we have so much horrible programming that you pr we pretty much are drunk all the time unless you do the daily work to um grow yourself advance yourself know who you are what you what you want where you're going you know what actions and habits do you need to implement what actions and habits do you need to do you maybe need to stop so that's really what this is guys it's a growth community i'm not here like i have it all together i'm with y'all growing i don't feel as though you have ever made it you have ever arrived until you're dead and if you ever feel like you're your best self, that I think is just an indication that you need more work. And so one thing that I have been working on, and I'm really grateful for this, is just being. That's it, just being. You know, um, the art of being, being still, being aware of yourself, pretty much everything that I just spoke of, I have for so long, and even, you know, I'm working on this, have always, you know, wrote, wrote down goals and plans and where I see myself at and all this, all this stuff. And you're always working so hard that a lot of times we don't even um, step back and look at the achievements. We don't even, we're not really even counting the cost, you know? You're just like doing whatever you have to do to get to a level of success that you deem would be acceptable or worthy by others, you know? Um, sometimes I feel like we don't even want this kind of success, you know? But this is the success that uh, states you have made it. So that's what you go after. But I was watching this show and the young girl was telling a friend about her favorite time in life with her father. And she was saying that he would always push her on the swings and that was the best, like it was just the best day, the best time of her life. But she realized when she was older, she was like, I wish I would have enjoyed it more because I was always, my, my father worked so much that I was always worrying about when is this going to stop instead of just being free flow present in the moment of like of this time that I have with my dad and that got me thinking as like dang 
I am, imagine how many of us actually do live like that. I know for so long, I mean, and even still, I'm working on it. Um, I'm always ahead, you know? And I remember I was telling one of my girlfriends, I was like, I feel like I am not, <laughs> this is gonna sound crazy, y'all. But I told her, I was like, I feel like I'm not where I currently am and I'm actually ahead, but I haven't reached, I haven't gotten there yet. And she was like, yeah, because I know you, I understand what you mean, but don't ever say that to anyone else. I just said it on the channel, but, um, you know, it's like, I've all, all, you know, you have so many goals, you have so many pursuits, you want to do so much stuff that it, you're always thinking of like, okay, what do I have to do tomorrow? What do I have to do next week? What do I have to do to accomplish this? And you're just doing, doing, doing. And, you know, at the end of the day, you wind down, you go to bed, you wake up, you start your routine so that you can continue to do, 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 go, go, go. But you never like sit back and it's like, dang, what have I done? You know, like what is happening around me? What am I involved in? What am I actually doing? You know, like all this doing, what is it? You know? And so one thing that I've been really grateful for is just like taking a step back and like, I'm, I have been thanking the Lord for everything. Thanking the Lord for the fact that right now I get to choose my responsibilities. You know, like there are so many people who, I don't have children yet. I'm not married yet. And there are people who have husbands and have families and children. And when you get home from work, if you want to just lay out for an hour and do nothing, some people don't have that luxury. I have that luxury. If I want to get home and I just want to, or if, say I want to wake up in the morning and go for a swim and then get ready for my day. I have that luxury, you know. I don't have to wake up and my uh, life doesn't have to be inundated with routines and schedules to care for other people right now. You know, like that is, I believe caring for others and having that responsibility is a blessing. And sometimes it's also a burden. And then even when you're... um when you don't have anybody to care for, you know, a lot of times, well, I think every single time that is a blessing, but then sometimes people look at it as like a burden as well, like a curse as well. But the fact that, um, wherever you're at, you know, like you get to basically be there and know that you are there and be aware of the blessings, the responsibilities, the habits that you're able to have in your life that you're able to implement. Even if you're trying to change and create new things and do new things, sometimes because of someone's schedule, they don't even have the leniency to um, stop doing a bad habit. You know, like you're so, you're just so in a system or you're so um, surrounded by certain things that it's that much harder to break out of something. But um, when you're single or when you're by yourself or when you don't have that kind of influence, you know, you have the you have the luxury of being like, I don't want to go here. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do that. And just be, you know. And so one thing that I want to just I want to say in part on you guys is slow down, you know, take a breath, stop what you're doing and just be still, you know, recognize where you are, recognize what you're doing, recognize where you're going or where you want to go. And don't think of like, okay, what are all the things that we have to do to get there? Because our mind is always, always there. But think of like, dang, what, what uh, benefits, what luxuries do I have? You know, where am I going? And what can I choose to do to get there? What can I choose not to do to get there? What is my time frame? What is my schedule? Like, what does your life look like? You know, um, get get in tuned with that. Get in tuned with who you are. Get in tuned with knowing your schedule. Um, being able to create your own schedule. Get in tuned with that because I believe when we are aware of ourselves, we are our best selves. You know, like when you know what you like, what you don't like, where you want to go, where you want to be. Um, where you're currently, what you're currently working on, I feel like you're your best self at that point because uh, not only do you present yourself more confident and you show up in the world as like, I'm aware, you know, like I'm more aware of 
even maybe a struggle that someone else is going through because I'm working on myself, you know? I have the um, the luxury, the benefit to be able to know that I'm not perfect, you know? I don't have it all together. I still have work to do and I have the time to do that. I have the freedom to do that. So that's all I wanted to share with you guys. Uh, I love you and I will see you next week.